What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. Now today I want to show you guys a very personal project that I've been working on. I'm at about the halfway mark. I've decided to sculpt a one-to-one -one scale bust of Hans Mole Man from The Simpsons. Now a lot of people are probably going to be like, this is the most randomest thing you've ever done. And it is, but I love Hans Mole Man. He is probably, in my opinion, one of the funniest characters in The Simpsons. Even though he doesn't have a lot of screen time, when he's on screen, he's funny as hell, even if he's getting injured. So I figured this would be a good challenge for me because transferring something from 2D to 3D is always very tricky. Now I do have a lot of reference photos, but there aren't exactly a lot in terms of different angles. So some of it is kind of left up to your imagination. Imagination. So I'm pretty much done with the sculpt as it is. Now I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, flip it around, flip the microphone around and show you guys the close-up details, some other details that will be added to the final display, just some accessories and how it's going to look in the end. Oh dear. Okay, so here's a nice close-up of the sculpture. Now the clay that I've been using, just grab a block of it, um, it's pretty cheap. Rainbow modeling clay, it's Australian made. I think all up, I used 11 or 12 blocks of this. So let me start from scratch. The armature is made from foam. To be exact, this foam here. Um, I just use this piece to cover the mech helmet mold so no dust gets in. But this is kind of like expander foam that's been molded into like slabs that I get from barns. So what I did which you got to try and figure out if Hans Mole Man is one to one scale, how is he going to look in real life? So it's a little bit tricky, but you've kind of got to trace around and deconstruct and layer up this armature using different, um, different shaped layers of the foam that I glued together, carved down. And that was the basis because there's a lot of mass on his head, especially around the back of his neck, his jowls, everything. So once I was happy with the armature, I got to work just slapping clay on everywhere, just trying to get a basic form down pat. Now try, I tried to take as many photos as I could, but it was one of those things where this is a personal project, so I don't want to have to have the camera on all the time, and it was just, it was just nice. Now I actually did run out of clay. I had to order more for doing the neck, because again, it's just there's just so much mass on that neck. Now if you guys see there, he's got some skin texture going on, and I kid you not, that was just from getting an orange and rolling it around all over the sculpt. Now, that skin texture isn't everywhere and that is on purpose because I don't want that skin texture everywhere. I want his skin texture to be very uneven um, because he's an old man, he's a mole man. So the idea for the final display is I'm gonna be taking a silicon mold, um, much like a mold like this, you know, two piece mother mold, all that gonna be cast in resin. I'm gonna be doing a skin, hyper realistic skin tone with veins, then lightly airbrushing a mist of yellow over it. So he's gonna look creepy as hell. The eyes are just ping pong balls, but I have ordered a custom set from Tech Optics that will have a hyper realistic pupil and veins. So again, he's gonna look terrifying. But the idea for the final display is once this is all cast in resin, he's gonna be holding a droopy sunflower, like in the show. <laughs> So he's going to be holding this droopy sunflower and what I did was I took an alginate mold of my hand as a fist but the way I did it was I had my fist and my pinky out like that. So here's my pinky that I cut off last night so you can imagine it was like that because obviously the Simpsons have four fingers so I had to carve off the pinky and it was just easier to have that space there with your pinky like that as opposed to that. So I do have to go in and carve off some details to match the details of the head sculpt itself. And this is just a little mock-up. So this is a $12 button-up shirt I got from Kmart and I actually had to buy two. So here's a photo of a mock-up with the suit and the tie on, the button-up shirt and the tie, which is just there, ironically, on my tie fighter. <laughs> so I had to get two of these shirts and splice them together because no regular shirt will fit around that mass on his neck. So that'll have to be done for the final display. So if you guys can imagine, let's pick him up. So it's mounted on like a board, so he's not gonna go anywhere. The hand's gonna be like that, holding the flower. Now I would like to have this bust mounted on like a podium, actually. I've got a perfect example. We're just gonna go for a little tour. Like one of them, like one of those pillars. 
because I think he's a god. Mole Man is a god. So I gotta find a pillar a little bit smaller. That's just a little bit too big for this guy for now. Um, but guys, as far as I'm concerned, the sculpt is done. I'm gonna start molding him uh, this afternoon with some pinky seal I got yesterday. I got 10 kilos of the stuff, so that should be enough. Same goes for the hand. I wanna try and finish the hand up today and start molding it. The mold for this will be exactly the same as this guy. Um, pinky seal glove mold, two piece mother mold. So the beauty about this clay is it never dries. It's oil based clay. The only thing is smoothing it down is a little bit tricky. And for that, you gotta use, you know, 100% alcohol to smooth it all down. Now look at all the reinforcements holding the sculpt up. Originally, it was just that wooden, uh, black stick then I had to put three aluminium ones in and another wooden one because this guy is heavy so for the mother mold I'm actually going to do fiberglass it's going to be a lot lighter and I've wanted to do a fiberglass mother mold for quite some time now I you know want to teach myself how to use fiberglass efficiently and properly and safely as well because fiberglass can be quite dangerous like I said it's it's tricky transferring something from 2d to 3d but um I think, I think I've nailed it, I think. Um, so I'm off to the States on the 3rd of April and I'm actually gonna be going to the Replica Prop Forum party. And I wanna have this guy all ready by then uh, to bring with me because I think it'd be great. Um, this is testing me in all forms of um, special effects stuff, you know, sculpting, molding. I've got to learn some new stuff with this molding, airbrushing, going for hyperrealism, as well as staying true to the character itself. So in the end, it's going to be an odd and terrifying looking display, but um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, it's just been good to work on a personal project. So thanks very much for watching guys. Got a bit more work to do on him. Then I'm gonna start molding him this afternoon. I've also got to do some work on some fully completed wearable mech cows. So just kind of going back and forth between everything. So today is Wednesday. This coming Sunday, I've got the photo shoot with Laura Gilbert, AKA infamous Harley Quinn. Very excited about that. I actually, did get that tooth cap for boomerang and it didn't fit because I got really big front teeth and this thing was tiny so eventually whatever my buddy Cameron suggested why don't you just use aluminium tape and I did it seriously works a treat so crisis averted everything's good to go it's gonna be a fun day so hopefully we'll have some photos up next week uh, the final reveal all that jazz so yeah all good hope you guys are well hope you guys are happy be merry be silly it's just started pissing down with rain here and until next time geeks please always remember cosplayers do it best no one's gay for more man